This is lesson one of creating a randomized sequence of numbers using Adobe Acrobat Pro. We'll begin with the preparation. There are a few bits of preparation which are worth taking into account to make it easier later on. The first part of the preparation is creating a library of code that you can refer to later on. You'll find that it's a lot speedier copying and pasting code rather than trying to write it out every time. The second part is that for every page that you create, you build up a document of the coding, which you will copy and paste into Adobe Acrobat Pro. This makes it easier for correcting any mistakes in the coding. So these two bits of preparation, I think, are important. In terms of preparing Adobe Acrobat Pro, there are actually only three tools that you need. When you go to the tool menu, you'll see there are lots of features. And if I add some extras, you'll see that they turn up on the right. There are, in fact, only three that you need. One is Create PDF. The second is Edit PDF, which is for text and images. And Prepare Form, which is where you're going to put the JavaScript coding. I'm going to use my template, but when you want to start and create your own page, Click on Create PDF, go to Blank Page, and Create. We're going to begin by using the Prepare form. When you click on the Prepare form, nothing happens. Click Edit. We are only going to be using two items in this menu. One for text, where our numbers are going to go, and the other is for buttons, where we're going to put the JavaScript. We'll begin by creating the text box and the button. The text box where the number is going to go, I'm going to put here, and a button down at the bottom. If I right click on the text box and go to properties, I can first of all change the name, which I'm going to, to S, and we'll go into naming in a bit more detail later on. Press enter. Appearance, not going to change anything yet. If I go to preview, I don't see anything of the text box. If I go into the text box, right click, go to properties, appearance, and I'm going to create a border around it simply by removing the transparent and choosing whatever color I want. If I now go to preview, I can see the box. What about the size and the position of the number? If I go into the box and type something in, you can see the size and the position of the number. Let's change that. Right click, properties. I'm going to change this to 100. And in the options, I'm going to put it into the center. But we do not want a static number we want to randomize the number. And the place where we're going to put the coding for this is in the button. So first of all, let's decide what coding that we need. This is the first part of the JavaScript that we're going to put into the button. And it says that we want to give the field S a particular value. And I'm going to copy and paste this into my coding document for the first lesson. Now let's imagine, for example, that we wanted a static value. I could put in a value there. I'm now going to copy and paste this into my Adobe Acrobat to see what happens. We go into Button, Properties, and Action. And we keep the mouse up, and we see we have run a JavaScript. Add, paste the code in, and OK. Let's check it. Preview. It's working. Let's now go back to randomizing the number. And we go back to our library, and this takes us to the second part. We want to randomize the number between 1 and 10. OK. So I'm going to copy and paste this into the right-hand side of the equation. And now, 
copy and paste this into my button. Let's see what happens. I'll preview it. It works fine. Now is the time to experiment. Go back in, change these numbers, and see what happens. Let's now put a graphic into the button instead of a grey square. Edit. Right click properties. Options. Let's go to icon only. Choose our icon. And remove the grey background. Clicking on transparent. We now have a button that randomly alters the number. There's a lot more you can do with just these two lines of code. Think of using an interactive whiteboard or a computer with a B map projected onto a wall with the pupils responding to verbal questions. Let's now change the range of numbers to be randomized and we're going to change the upper limit to 20. With this range of numbers, you could, for example, ask, is the number even or odd? How about calling out a number if it's a multiple of three? Okay, let's change the range again. To an upper limit of 100 and we could ask what is one more or what is one less than the number shown in each number how many tens and how many units are there we've seen what we can do with one random number what can we do with two random numbers let's first of all build the coding for two random numbers what we have here is the original JavaScript. I'm going to change the upper limit to 5 and I'm going to copy and paste this line below. But I'm going to change the names of the fields to s.0 and s.1. I'm going to copy and paste this into the button. What I now need to do is to create two fields. Here's the field S, and if I right click, create multiple copies. I only want two across and one down. And you will see that the names of the fields have changed to S0 and S1. Let's close and preview. Okay, we've now got two numbers randomly generated between 1 and 5. In this range of numbers, you can, for example, play snap. Let's change the upper limit again. And let's take it up to 15. You can now ask the pupils which one is bigger, which one is smaller. Let's try something else. This time set the limits of one of them 1 to 10 and the other one from 10 to 20. And let's play snap when one number is double the other.
Now let's move on to randomizing three numbers. Okay, we're going to create a third field. Call that S.2 and increase every number to 25. Copy. Paste into the button. We need to create a third field, so I'm going to copy and paste the S1, but now rename it S.2. We can now ask the pupils to call out the numbers in order for increasing or decreasing. Again, the important thing about this is that you can set the range of numbers that is suitable for your class with very little preparation. 